Hi everyone, it's Gareth Hudson here from Solar Tech Solutions. I just want to do a quick video to show everybody uh, how they might go about crea creating a SolidWorks customer portal account and then how they can actually go ahead and redeem their free um, certification exam. So the first thing I want to do is go to my web browser. I'm going to go to SolidWorks website, so www.solidworks.com. I'm going to go to login. I'm going to go to the SolidWorks customer portal. If you didn't already have a SolidWorks customer portal account, you could create yourself a customer portal account by clicking here. You basically need to have your SolidWorks serial number handy. You need to then enter your serial number in there. Uh, so 24 digit serial number with no spaces and then hit the next button and basically uh, follow the prompts through you'll get sent an email to your email address and ask you know put some information in you will then be asked to activate your account once you've gone ahead and actually created yourself uh, your customer portal account you can go ahead and then log into your customer portal account using the username and the password that you've specified okay once you've logged into the SolidWorks customer portal account you'll find that you may have some little padlocks against some of these different links here. What you need to do <clears throat> is you need to actually go ahead and register your product. You need to do this every year. You have to then uh, so paste your serial number back in here and then obviously choose the latest version of the product and then what you'll find is when you come back into the custom portal all of the padlocks should be removed and you've got access to all of the information in the customer portal. Uh, Basically, there's lots of information in here which you can access, but what I want to show you today is the certification information. So if you then go to SolidWorks uh, certification, there's a whole swag of different information in here that you can access regarding to different SolidWorks certification exams. Okay, So if you've got subscription service with SolidTech and, and hence with SolidWorks, there is free subscription offers to um, Free, free CSWP offers for subscription customers. So if I click this link here, basically uh, it's giving me some information about the some of the codes that I can access to access my free CSWP or CSWA exams and also some of my specialist exams as well. Now if I just go back to the main certification page, basically <coughs> CSWA exam is the first level exam that you can sit. There's uh, actually a sample exam in here for the CSWA exam, so you can click on this link, you can download the sample and have a bit of a practice. It is a three hour exam. You do need to get 70% to pass that exam. There is a CSWP exam. CSWP exam is a little bit harder. It's three hours and 30 minutes. You can actually do it in three, or you do it in three separate segments, okay? You can uh, fail one of the segments, um, you won't get your certification, but that only means you need to just then complete just one of those segments again to be able to complete that exam. So this gives you some information about uh, what what you need to know to be able to sit that exam. Okay. Um, okay. You can have a free uh, sorry a sample of that CSWP exam as well. Okay. For the CSWE, which is Certified SolidWorks Expert. Certified SolidWorks Expert exam, If you, it's a three hour exam, if you uh, fail the exam you have to wait 180 days until you can retake the exam. All the other exams you have to wait 30 days. To qualify to complete the CSWE exam, you have to um, complete three out of the five of the CSWP specialist exams. Okay, So you will need to have completed three of these five specialist exams before you can actually qualify to complete the CSWE. So if I go to the CSWP exam, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead, um, I clicked on this link before and I showed my, my vouchers, all right, for my, my offers uh, that I get with my subscription service. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna purchase the exam, okay. This is gonna take me to a slightly different website, so it's taking me to the SolidWorks store I can go ahead and then purchase the three separate segments of the CSWP exam. Okay, so here we go here. So I've added those three separate segments to my shopping cart. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go check out. So I've got there um, $198. Oh, I've got too many. Just let me change that back to... Oops. Oh, just going to just change it back to ones. Okay, so I just want one of each of the segments for the CSWP exam. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place my uh, paste my coupon voucher in there that I uh, got from my free offer. I'm going to apply that coupon. And you can see it's actually subtracting the cost there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I need to then fill in the information. So first name, last name, email address. Okay, basically fill in all of your information. Once you've completed all of that information, what's going to happen is you're going to be sent an email to your email address that you've used to register. You'll be sent an email with a password for what is called the SolidWorks um, Certification Center, or basically it's actually another website called um, Virtual Tester. So if I go here to the SolidWorks Certification Center, Okay, so you can see this is actually a virtual tester website. So you'll be sent a, a, an email from virtual tester with your login details. If you uh, then go ahead and log in uh, to your virtual tester site, uh, you'll find that you've actually got a voucher. To be able to actually uh, complete the exam, you'll find that basically uh, you need to go ahead and you need to download the Tester Pro client. So once you've downloaded this uh, particular little piece of software. This is actually the the tester software. Okay, so once you've downloaded the tested so tester software, you can then run the tester software. Okay, just let it install. That's fine. And then with the password that you've been sent on the email, you can then uh, log in to the virtual tester software. And you should already have. Um, the ID Oops. from the email that was sent to you and once you log into that virtual tester software you should find that you'll actually have a credit for each segment of the CSWP okay um, once you go ahead, uh, I've obviously already completed mine. Um, once you go ahead and click this button here, if it says that you've got a credit available, then the actual exam will start. Once you click the button, there's no going back and you will need to click, com um, complete your exam. What I find is um, there is some really good information on the SolidWorks website and also on, um, if we go here, if I just go uh, back to the CSWP for example, and have a look at the sample exam for the CSWP. It gives you some really good information here about all right, how you should actually go about sitting that exam. So it talks about you should actually um, you know, keep SolidWorks open, keep Virtual Tester open. Uh, it's really good if you've got two monitors such that you can have the Virtual Tester software with the questions on one monitor and then SolidWorks on the other monitor. Okay. So this is a bit of a, a sample of what you might, um, some of the questions you might be up against. So you guys can uh, can download that and, and take a look. Now, the final little thing that I want to talk about here is we can actually go into the uh, SolidWorks Certification Center and we can actually go ahead and we can actually look at certified users. Okay. So what we can see here, everybody, is um, all of the certified SolidWorks professionals in Australia that have allowed themselves to be listed in the, the directory. So there's 235 users in Australia. 86 of these users are visible in the directory. Okay, so we can see all of these different users here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm in there somewhere. Oh, there's me there. Uh, if we look at certified SolidWorks experts in Australia, Okay, so there's only 11 certified, uh, certified SolidWorks experts in Australia and there's 11 of them visible in this directory. Okay, so we can see uh, here. Okay, so this is a really good thing to, to complete your um, SolidWorks certification. 
and then to be able to list yourself in the directory what this also means is that you're able to put the SolidWorks logo on your business card so if you were you were contracting or, or something like that it certainly shows that you've got a certain aptitude in SolidWorks alright so hopefully that helps everybody um, you know, it gives them some information about how to create a SolidWorks custom portal account and how to uh, complete and or how to redeem and complete your certified SolidWorks professional exam.